guys this is my uh, how I install my floor and this is my plan for a floor so you see this is a small uh, storage over here for the tools that one so that's why I make a small hole over door to my access okay okay so that's why I'm gonna small door over there so you have access for the tools or small storage okay For my tools, for small cabinet over here. Yeah. Sixty-one and forty-one, and just mark to the edge for the. Okay. So guys, this is a uh the size my bed frame that I make so I'll show you from the driver's side left is a 74 inches length and the right side is just 60 inch then the width total is 45 because the opening that this one is like a 48 inch tight so it's good for 45 and you can play on it and that's all the frame on that side at the back that's in there so it's not gonna move in away and the height is eight and a half from the crown of the tank trunk it's okay and in the front is 10 inch from the floor over above the frame is 10 inch but it's up to you guys if you want to lower a little bit or higher a little bit because for me it's good enough the one so what I'm setting down is good from the ceiling okay so guys this is my folding bed now that I made so I'm gonna show you and this is a four panel folding bed so guys uh, I'm gonna show you what's the measurement uh, or, um, flatten bed folding bed on my camper van so this is a front seat and this is a back seat so the the width is a 46 inches and the length is a 72 inches total so i divided in a four panel okay so in the front seat is a six, 16 inches wide and then the back seat is uh, 13 inches and there's a small panel here three and a half inches 
So I'm gonna screw this one to the bed frame so it's not gonna moving around, something like that. And uh, the middle is uh, 20 inches, the same size. And so, want to, so this is a uh, look like on the inside the van. And I want to hold it like this. Like that. And, see? So this is the one you screw on the on the bed frame so it's not gonna move it. It's a small panel, it's a three and a half inches. So and I cut any half the back seat so I can I have uh, access to the both sides. I have a caution here you can put on the back. See? You can sit down the back seat. Then the front over here you can open this one so you can make a small opening here so you have still access and time to sleep just sleep down small panel is the one I need to screw the one on that bed frame moving the folding bed once you fold it okay I'm gonna screw over here that's over there Uh, okay guys uh, more update before my back seat is a uh, one piece and I decided to cut in half or uh, even yeah so that I, uh, then I sit down in here open in here do something okay guys so now i'm here inside the van so i'm gonna show you something all right now even you have inside the van so you have uh, access to get some food if you don't want to going out or because of raining something like that so just open this one over here and yeah you have access to grab some food over here
So now the bed is flat. So you can splash. Let's open this way so you can still have access under the bed. So you, you don't need to pull the bed or Guys, I thank you all for the that I built for a camper van. So now, ready to put it back the regular van. <laughs>